problem. And this is a walk to uh, Shell Island. The first part of the walk is along the causeway, the tidal causeway. Shower over there, covering Mul the Rinox and Mulvera. It's a lamp. Better airfield. Probably no flights today because it's windy. Be walking all the way along Shell Island Promontory there to the har harbour. I've got this probably uh, about a mile long causeway walk to start. Halfway along the causeway here. There's these little tidal uh, inlets, which uh, you can see in an extensive salt marsh here, on the other side of the, uh, the road. And uh, oh, the sun. The sun is coming out, and over there was a heavy shower, which uh, may, may eventually reach me. But there's the Scottish flag, the English flag, the Welsh flag, and the Union Jack. And at the end, I think, is the Shell uh, Island flag. It's still open, uh, Shell Island, but uh, it's, uh, the main holiday season, of course, is, is now over. as a pedestrian to go in, but uh, well, I'll continue through the entrance. And the sun's come out again. So this building just here was, uh, was the, the Shell Island farm, which now really no longer a farm, of course. It's now the largest, uh, advertises the largest campsite in Europe. So whoever owns this uh, Shell Island is certainly quite a wealthy person. I might be lucky and I might be able to escape, escape a shower, but uh, you can see over there there's a rainbow, so I'll walk down here for about half a mile to the, uh, well, uh, you can see that happy camp is well set up, he has his pop-up dormobile and a sizable awning and a windbreak, so he's all set for the elements. And he's got plenty of uh, elbow room as well. He's, he's the only one on that particular uh, field. Now, uh, the, you can hear the surf at night pounding on the, the shores, especially with this, this wind. Coming into the harbour area, and you can see there are some nice boats here, and there's quite a few. Uh, Mine a tanker. And uh, the curious thing is, you, I rarely see these sailing on the, on the high seas. So I can only assume that... Uh, that they use them as uh, kind of like uh, caravans to uh, have a weekend away. Over there there's a nasty looking shower, but so far I've uh, pretty well escaped scot-free from the 
uh, the heavy showers at least. So I'll just go along here for another couple of hundred yards. So I don't know if you can hear me because the uh, wind is blowing. It's at the approaching heavy shower. And this is the Benstar Harbour. And over there is the breakwater tide. Well, I walk along from Kandangui several times a week. That might be one of those boats that uh, people just use to spend a weekend in. Uh, I walked about two, it's about a mile from the entrance to Shell Island, so I have walked about uh, well, two miles so far. And here's the actual harbour, and you can see the fishing tackle over there. And uh, this, of course, harbour was originally built for the Jan Bayer, uh, Jan Bayer quarries to ship the, the slate. What I'm going to do here, I think, is shelter behind this boat for a few minutes at least because I think there's a quite a heavy shower coming and uh, I'll uh, well my trousers will be soaked uh, if I uh, carry on The Shell Island cafeteria. It's quite, uh, quite you know, you can accommodate quite a few customers. Unfortunately, I'm I'm the only customer here. But it might be that I'm not actually uh, outside the meal times, normal meal times. But uh, but it uh, allows me to escape the uh, the shower, heavy shower outside. You can see the exit all around you, especially on a clear day. Rainbow again, and make it out there. I've just come from the, uh, the cafe, about a quarter of a mile or so back. There's a heavy shower over the mountains. And uh, you can see, it is a very extensive campsite. I go for over a mile down here before I even reach the end of the campsite. Believe it or not, the Wales coastal path runs through this campsite. Ah, oh, there's a plane taking off. I thought it would have been a, a little bit too stormy for them today. recreational visit uh, vehicle. Uh, it's uh, one of the attractions of Shell Island with the extensive sand dunes, which uh, like the kids especially. This is where I leave the sand dune area and go into this area which is uh, Wooded. There's no tall trees here, but but uh, medium-sized trees. Uh, quite a number of them. This is where I leave Shell Island and and go back to the car. About well, probably less than a mile away, and the sun appears to be uh, breaking out. So I've been kind of lucky. Haven't got too soaked. Here's the boundary of Shell Island and this is actually a cycle track as well as well as being the uh, the Wales coast path. I'm walking down kind of like a canyon between this uh, kind of seagrass 
tall seagrass. There's an extensive uh, extensive uh, salt marsh on the one side. I may have spoke a little bit too soon. I might be on the edge of that heavy shower that's over there, hiding in the mountains. And you can see the fish in the distance where you can see them, not to the, the, uh, the main buildings of the Shell Island, and the extensive salt marsh. And over there are the hangars. Uh, cycle path here, which doubles as the course of Wales coast path. This is the main runway, Cambedra Airfield. But uh, that's probably just a helicopter that he didn't uh, take off. But I have seen several planes take off from, uh, from the airfield. Rainbow, one of those days. I think that plane, that or uh, well, helicopter, was actually a gyrocopter, so it probably did take off from the from the airfield. Yeah, I've just come maybe a third of a mile to go. So uh, coming to the end of this walk, coming to the end of this walk, about another well, just two three hundred yards to go. If that is the drainage ditch been excavated by the farmer so that he can reclaim some of this uh, marshland. Uh, he's probably using this cycle path as a, as a dike to keep the, keep the salt water out.